this area that we're standing here today was an area that was a, a blighted area. It was abandoned warehouses. It was landfills. But now shoppers pack Walmart and BJ's at the Walmart Shopping Center in North Bergen. Assembly Speaker Vincent Prieto says these shoppers wouldn't have a place to go if it wasn't for the Urban Enterprise Zone project. And now he's sponsoring a bill that would give back a portion of the sales tax revenue to municipalities with urban enterprise zones. The monies were taken away in the 2011 state budget. This morning, 12 mayors from various cities, including Jersey City, Newark, Patterson, and Elizabeth, gathered to support the legislation. When you look at the unemployment rate in the state of New Jersey and you wonder why it is so high, you can correlate that with urban enterprise zone dollars that have been taken away. If the bill is passed, that would mean about $27 million would go back to urban enterprise zones, but those monies could only be used for certain approved measures. Assemblyman Prieto says the $27 million is actually just 30 percent of what was originally taken away from municipalities. So he says the bill is a good compromise. But past criticism of the urban enterprise zones is that cities have used the money from the program to pay for things other than businesses, including salaries and benefits. But Assemblyman Prieto says municipalities will have to justify their spending with the Department of Community Affairs. And he says the Urban Enterprise Zone Sales Tax Revenue Restoration Bill provides specific guidelines to make certain the money is spent properly. On it is about our economy. It actually, you have to invest in it. And again, it's only a portion of what was normally going to the UEZs. These mayors say they have been able to transform shopping areas thanks to the UEZ program through benefits like reducing sales tax to 3.5% for participating businesses and providing access to low interest loans. Now they say they want to do all they can to keep businesses in these areas and that takes money. If you think about Jersey City overall over the last two decades, it's really been an example of urban revitalization and that is in no small part because of the UEZ. Assemblyman Prieto says he plans to introduce the bill within the next week and has aggressive plans to get it to the governor's desk by the holidays. He says it's a priority for municipalities in the state to get back the millions that once belonged to them. In North Bergen, Candace Kelly, NJTV News.